As a compliment to another video that I've done about um, the iPad, I thought I'd just show you a few things that I've got on here that uh, that really are quite cool. So if I show you Twitter later, this is a Twitter application for the iPad very specifically. It beats all the others uh, by a country mile. So for example, what you see here on the left are the um, tweets coming in from friends which I can quickly scroll down like that okay um, here trending topics are showing but I can show messages mentions we can have channels as well different channels so just to different things there so see what comes up there yeah, finance it's just loading okay as you can see this iPad is sitting on a very very rocky <laughs> um, uh, holder it's pretty damn poor is this holder um, it came with a case that I bought very specifically for transporting the uh, iPad around which I'll quickly show you this thing I can take everything I need in here cables connectors and all that stuff okay let's have a look at something else um, Google Apps huh, what's that it's not showing correctly it'll only show correctly portrait stuff well not strictly true because if I go to Gmail And there it is, it's bringing up uh, the new tablet style Gmail publication, so, uh, sorry, application, so, you know, it, it looks pretty cool. Uh, it does have some problems, for example, you can't um, see images in it for some reason. Uh, they do say it's in beta, but that's another matter. The application that all professionals are going to want to look at is the spreadsheet, so let's just go to here, which is numbers. And here I have one preloaded, and as you can see, it looks pretty darn pretty tasty. Does that? That's a very good looking application. We have a look. It's a loan application that I'm showing there. And if I just scroll to the top, and we can we can start looking at uh, including images different types of media, different types of tables, charts, that kind of thing. Tap again, it disappears. Double tap on here. And up comes the formulas. Can you see that formula there? Nice and easy to do. There are some good functions in here. If you have a look, I'll just uh, zoom back as such. Whoops, it is it. And pull up the functions. And there you can see we have a range of functions, all of which are, are quite useful from our point of view. Obviously the ones that are of interest to my kind of people are the financial applications, so pull those up. And as you can see there's a good selection of different types of financial function there but as I've said before it, it, it is a version one this is not a fully baked machine that you could say I can use this for full compute uh, lots of different things that aren't terribly clever so for example trying to blog with this thing is almost impossible as it is for me at the moment um, not sure where here we go blog press I have a problem with this because it's asking me there we go you need to add one but it's not allowing me to it's not allowing me to add the, the WordPress blog that I want to um, I've got to call in the technical support on that one very good application here Bloomberg Bloomberg is really useful I mean you can think about it as a news application for uh, people interested in finance lots of um, detail equity indices currency indices uh, that kind of stuff that's that's all really helpful for somebody like me and um, 
News Application USA Today is on here. And uh, as soon as it loads up, there we go. Very colourful, but it is version 1. And we're going to have to wait until uh, a little bit further before we see really good applications where you can say, yep, that actually cuts the mustard.